All right, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to this UFC 5 featherweight career run. And in the first episode, we got turf to the WFA because we didn't finish the opponent in the first round. Uncle Dana are happy, so we get fed to Cameron Bernard as punishment in the WFA's one stars. What's your style? The art of fighting without fighting? Show me some of it. And he's a boxer, so we'll have to be uh, on point. I'm obviously, though, I'm expecting him to go for takedowns the way this game plays out. Another six foot opponent. All right. So we got a four week camp to prepare. I'm sure I'm going to get cut to ribbons by these fucking training partners, no doubt. All right. I'll uh, I'll skip. I'll cut the training out. But if anything funny happens, uh, any if anything funny happens with the training partners, I'll be sure to leave it in. All right then. I'll see you back here when it's done. I think it's funny injuring me, do you, yes, Singleton? Oh, in my fucking first fight yeah. in the Devastated fucking contender fight. series. Maybe awesome you're the time. reason I fucking lost. Uh, sorry, didn't go through to the UFC. Because I was paying for injuries when I should have been fucking dominating. Look at this. Get up. Fucking Singleton. More like fucking Simpleton. Get down there. Who let you into this fucking gym? Get down there, you fucking filth. Fucking night night. What you get for fucking injuring me? Hey, hey, I can see you frustrated. But I saw I am coach. I'm cool. fucking fuming. Oh, what's that, Brian? You injured me in the last fucking camp as well, did you? I'm sorry, mate, but you know what the fucking no fucking penalty we'll for tri better. Oh, Coach Davis fucking saved your ass. All right, so that's the camp finished. Wasn't too bad, wasn't as horrific as that first one. Jesus, got some revenge on Simpleton. We're already starting to get characters now in the in the, in the career mode. Simpleton, the aggressive training partner, ironed out. All right, let's get these uh, 113 points spent, and I think most of it's going to go on power. I think, uh, although ugh, I don't know recovery. It needs to go up as well. So I got gassed at the end of that round and it was only the third. But I do need stopping power. Uh, some of this has got to go up, hasn't it? I'm going to go faster punches. In fact, while I've got the... While I've got the points, I might as well get that off. I want to be able to recover. Um. Hang on to that now. Can't spend it on much else. Not going to be switching stances. Put it into anything here. Maybe a bit of bottom game. Not enough. Uh, sub defense. Not enough. Okay, I'll just hang on to it. All right, here we go. First fight in the WFA. Cameron Bernard, 9 4 0 boxer. Let's get to the cage. At least it's put me on the left hand side of the screen. Checked. Oh, already hitting him with a low kick. to the inside leg. I mean, they will start checking it. Oh, he gave me a fucking overhand there as well. On oh, another hard low kick. He was fully planted there. I'm gonna fake him and go high. Oh, that'll do. Two hard low kicks and then going high. I mean, it doesn't get any more K1 than that, does it? Fucking Peter Hurts 101, that. Firing a couple of hard low kicks. Firing, fake another one, but keep looking at their leg and send the fucking, send the, the leg high. Look at that, full shin. Oh, beautiful. Oh, 
Oi! That was a nice, nice finish. First round knockout. Why couldn't that happen in the fucking contender series? Disappointment on the face of Bernard. Tough fucking titties, mate, innit? Tough egg out, cheese. We still took a bit of a longevity hit, even though we got it with, like, what, three or four punches. It would have been nice to get a low kick stoppage there, but I just thought I'd toss out the head kick, because I thought if I throw another low kick in, he's going to check it. It's just reminded me, actually, I should get steel checks as soon as possible. Eli Laxton, there'll be a new contender in no time. Oh, forgot about these mouth breathers. Adrian Crone and Liver Shot wins. Oh, thanks, boys. They were actually positive. Stuart Dunn, a win for Liver Shot. How long before it's UFC time? It's going to be a while yet, boys. It's going to be a while. Brett Ned, I'm impressed, but at Liver Shot can't wait for tougher fights. What are you trying to say? It's a, fucking, that was a can. What are you trying to say? He was a fucking can. Jesus. Again, he wants a rematch. I mean, I can't allow that. I mean, he's saying it's a fluke. I mean, fuck him. I'll rematch him. I know I could have picked a di pick a different opponent, but let's silence the uh, the, the social media mouth breather there as well. Hey, what's this? Coach Davis piping up. Sex offender, Coach Davis. Look at that fucking nine o'clock news fucking profile picture there. Uh, hey, you should start get getting some other fighters to train with you. Bullshit. I'll do that when I'm ready, Coach. I will be paying some fighters a visit to learn some stuff, but we haven't got the fucking money by the look of it. Look at that, not enough cash. All right, same deal as always. If there's anything interesting, if there's any brawls breaking out in the training room, I'll be sure to show it to you. But I'll, uh, I'll crack on with this, and I'll see you back here in a bit. Great job. Here we go, fucking hell. Look at this now, I've got to land more hooks than this fucking simpleton. And he's already fucking... Got five of them in on me. You're supposed to be helping me improve, aren't you? You're not fucking beating yes. the shit out of me. That's the way you master your craft. Nice box. Yes. Nice box. Now, just look at him fucking throwing head. head kicks. Let me see that. Let's go. So you can play at that game. Fucking hell. I just nearly fucking van down myself on his fucking head. All right, that's the end of the camp. What's mouth breather Leonard Ortiz saying? A shit emoji. Are you calling me shit, Leonard? Fucking prick. All right. Let's uh, spend these points. Luckily, I didn't get injured. So we can wipe out Cameron for a second time. And the first one wasn't just a fluke. Right, get the kicking game up more. Head movement. Head movement. The Edmund Tarverdian special. A bit of footwork. A bit of blocking. I'm gonna have enough for. I mean, I, I don't know why I'm up, up, <laughs> upgrading head movement, but I have to learn at some point. Uh, maybe bottom game. We do, we do want to do a little bit of grappling. Sub defense, maybe. I mean, just to get it up, and it completely just wipes me points out as well. Everything at zero, good stuff. I know I didn't get another perk, but I think we're all right for the time being. All right, second fight with Cameron Bernard. Let's see if we can give him a six in the L column. Let's get to the cage. Cameron talking shit, saying the first one was a fluke. Are you ready? Ready? Here we go. Discount Herb Dean getting us underway. Oh, he wants to touch gloves, does Cameron. And chop at that leg again. Just give him fucking flashbacks to the first fight. Oh, big overhand. From, from Cameron. And another one. You know what that means. Oh, he's spamming the overhand. So I'm going to try and block counter his ass. And I'm going to try and string the right head kick onto it. Have a bad chance. Kick to the liver lands. 
That was it. Oh, the head kick almost connected. He got his block up somehow. Even though he was fucking mid fucking funky chicken animation. It might be there though. I mean if he if he wants to give me another one. I'll I'll gladly try again. Oh, stung me with the right straight. A nice jab as well. I think a low kick then, and out comes the overhand. Wasn't ready for that one. And again, fucking hell. Ready for that one, but I fucked it up. Better fight in this one. I don't know how we managed to. Oh, a bit late on that block counter. I don't know how we managed to hurt his legs so easily in the last one. There's a little stick thin fucking legs that he's got. God, he's giving me these overhands and I'm fucking him up. kick instead. There's flashbacks to the first fight for you. Oh, he got caught with the left uppercut. I hate the way they can do that off the front kick. I hate it. Got him with the block counter, but it didn't stagger him. Oh, I fucked that one up. Oh, nice left up right straight there as he went for the low kick. Oh, popped his nose with the jab. Clean. I actually tried fucking head movement there and fucking paid for it. Oh, he catches me with an uppercut going for the body. It's a different fucking fight altogether. Moving backwards there, so I fucking didn't get the block counter. That might be his fucking round. I can't remember if I dropped him. Did I drop him with the head kick? I can't remember. We'll find out now in the replays. He fucking landed a shitload of straights on me there. Straights and jabs. And I know I had fucking head movements, but like I said in the first episode, it don't, don't be expecting me to do any slick head movements in this. I just don't know why I can't get it together in this. I see other people doing it. I just I just can't do it. You ready? Let's go. Ah, 
Ah, I thought he was going to the fucking body with that. Oh. Shades of the first fight. <laughs> he wasn't falling for it that time. Oh, got him with the left one, though. Oh, and the right uppercut drops him. Get up, you fucking cheese dick. Fuck down there. Fucking fluke my ass. Fucking ironed him out with the right uppercut. I wanted the low kick stoppage again, but I just fucking thought I'll, I'll see if I can get him with the left head kick instead. Cameraman, about fucking three seconds too late getting in position for that one. Oh, there's the uppercut. Oh, beautiful uppercut. He spits out his fucking dinner. Look at that guy doing the gangster lead. Oh, shit. Look at him outside the cage watching. Yeah, fucking on your way, Cameron. 2 0 against you. Get the fuck out of it. He's giving me some shit there, though, like. Alright, no more rematches for you, Cameron. That's it. Diego Lopez looking like a. Discount Patrick Swayze there. <laughs> Look at the state of that fucking picture. Cyril Garn submitting John Jones. Fucking bullshit. Never gonna happen. Claire Towers, liver shot. Has what it takes. I didn't get to read all that. Josh Nasiba, I might have a new favourite fighter. Another fickle MMA fan. What happens to your old favourite fighter? Do you know who I thought that was then? Uh, what's the guy's name? Josh Koscheck from the Ultimate Fighter 1. I thought that was Koscheck. Rohan Ball, the rider of Rohan. What's your style? The art of fighting without fighting? Show me some of it. That's Jiu Jitsu, man. So fucking stand by for like spinning back kicks and uh, Edson Barboza style strikes. Let's get him booked. Uh, same deal. Anything interesting happens in the camp, I'll, uh, I'll leave it in for you. But uh, I'll crack on with this and I'll see you back here when it's done. Fuck off, will ya? Grind. Fucking four Grind. strikes in a row, he fucking blocked. Oh, thanks for letting me pass the. Thank you. Thanks for letting me pass. Alright, that's the end of the camp for Rider of Rohan Ball. 6 and 2 record for the lad. All right, let's get these 91 points spent. No horrific injuries to report. Train, training partners were pretty well behaved. I think this is an injury from maybe the fight. I don't remember getting that in the camp. Okie doke. Right, head movement needs to go. Um, actually, let's get kick power up a bit. So it's in line. Punch power. Eight points left, probably not going to have enough to spend that on anything. All right, let's get to the cage for Rider of Rohan Ball. What's James Parley saying? This shouldn't take long. Livershot will get exposed by these WFA fighters. Chris Hughes, bet Livershot gets beat up by this WFA bum. Corey Cream Pie, it's clear that Livershot doesn't have the skill. What are all these fucking mouth breathers coming out? Fucking three of them in a row. Fucking hell. All right, let's get to the cage. Discount Josh Koscheck. <laughs> you ready to fight? Are you ready to fight? Here we go. So watch out for the grappling. He comes up throwing hands. Obviously, he's got to set up his fucking shot.
Oh, look at that. Sidestepping, pivoting off to his right to evade the left uppercut. Hate the way they can counter you like that off a blocked body shot. him there for that oh big left hook over the top staggers him and he's recovered straight away it's only a matter of time before somebody gets me on the deck and exposes me. Not very good ground game in this game. Oh, I'll fucking take him down. Dump him, get a... Get a point for that, or some points for the takedown. Watch out for the throw. I was ready for that. Ah. Oh. Keep forgetting about the overhand. He's got me focused on takedowns. Oh, you get up, get up, get up. Stand your base, yeah. Stand your base, Kostya. Get down there, you fucking flid. Oh, caught him with the block counter, but I threw a, a calf kick instead of the head kick. Oh, don't know what happened. <laughs> Fucking clocked him with something inside the clinch there. Oh, popped his nose with the jab. Oh, beautiful jab, left hook, right straight. Closing in for the kill on discount, Koscheck. Oh, missed with the, with the lunge and left. Oh, I thought he was going to the body right. There's a pace. Oh, God, let him get away with the overhand. Oh, <laughs> just fucking drilled him right down the middle with the right straight. Koscheck getting beat up a little bit. Oh, and there's the, there's the jab, the left hook and the right straight. Irons him out, first round knockout against the discount Kostya. That's what you get for pissing on Chris Lieben's bed. Or oh, was that Bobby Southworth who did that? I can't remember. Oh, he went over on his fucking leg there. Awkward. I remember when I went to watch uh, UFC 70 way back in the day. That was like 2005 when uh, Gabriel Gonzaga knocked out Mirko Krokop with a head kick. And Krokop went over on his foot and he sort of like inverted heel hooked himself a little bit. Like if you go back and watch that, he like f goes over funny on his ankle. I was just stuck in my head that. All right, so that's the rider of Rohan Ball Koscheck out, out of the way. Looking back up to 32 grand, what's the chances that one of my fucking training partners injures me and I have to spend it all? Age Reed angling when Livershot gets these hands moving, clear the octagon. Terry Foley wins used to mean something in MMA, but not if they're like that. What does that mean, you fucking bell end? Fucking cheese dick. Sophie Bruin, what a letdown. Oh, you're a letdown, Sophie. Them tits are like fucking fried eggs. Uh, no injuries to take care of. In fact, let's just get the next fight booked and then we'll call it a video. Can't stand these mouth breathers popping up. 
Zach Wade looking like fucking Zell from Final Fantasy X. Oh, eight, excuse me, Final Fantasy VIII. Uh, one and a half stars. I reckon we could, can we, uh, where is he? I know we're unranked, but... Is he below me? No, he's bottom of the fucking leaderboard. G give me a fucking different opponent. Don't give me that fucking Cameron fella again, please. Or the fella we just ironed out. Oh, look at this guy. Fucking hell. Mike Perry's and Peter Andre's love child. Miles McKnight. Fucking hell. Oh, he's even worse. Half a star. I mean, I can't fucking decline him. We've got no more declines. What's your style? The art of fighting without fighting? Show me some of it. Kickboxer style for McKnight. What a surname. The Dark McKnight. Or is that like a new McDonald's fucking sandwich, the McKnight? Uh, okay, all ready to go. Training camps all booked for the next one. Not a bad, uh, not a bad start to the career. All right, I'll leave it there. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. As usual, really appreciate it. Take care, and I'll see you all in the next one.